Howdy folks, Ed here. Welcome back to Bullnose Garage. This obviously is not a Bullnose. This is my 2007 Ford F-150. It served me well for a lot of years. I've never had an issue with it, which is why I keep it around and it's basically my daily driver. But it is getting a little bit long in the tooth. And uh, every now and then I like to spruce it up. Makes her feel better, makes me feel better. You know, it's good all around. So today's little bit of sprucing up is going to be fixing these old faded headlights. And I don't know if you can see very well in the light of the setting sun, but uh, this is pretty cloudy over here. And then this one over here is the same exact way. They're pretty bad. So fixing that actually isn't that hard. It takes just a little bit of sandpaper, some time, and some clear coat. And the clear coat that I'm gonna be using is uh, the good stuff. It's Spray Max. 2K clear. I actually have it left over from doing the wheels on my wife's Explorer. So I figure, well, I got the can open and got some left over. I may as well go ahead and uh, use it on my headlights. And this stuff is uh, the good stuff. So this should last the rest of the life of the truck. I should never have a problem with this yellowing or fading ever again once I get this done. And hey, you know, depending on how much uh, orange peel there is at the end, I might even get a chance to use my new buffer. So that could be fun. Stick around. Hello. Luckily for me, the headlights on an F-150 of this generation, generation. <laughs> Luckily for Luckily for me, the headlights on this generation of F-150 are really easy to remove, and it's gonna be a whole lot easier doing this job with the headlights off the truck, so that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, I've already done some work on both of these headlights. Unfortunately, I had some issues with my phone while I was filming the actual sanding down of these two. But uh, even after doing a round of sanding, this one here is still a little bit junky down here at the bottom. So I am going to do some aggressive sanding down here to see if I can't take care of some of this stuff. I'm gonna use uh, 220 grit uh, to try to take out some of this stuff down here. Now, if I can't get it, it's not a big deal. It's just this bottom part of the headlight. And uh, the other one doesn't really have as much of that problem. There is a little bit, uh, but the other one looks a little bit better. So like I said, I'm gonna go uh, start over basically with this one and uh, I'll walk you through what I'm gonna do. So I've got all of my sandpaper already sort of uh, cut up and ready to go. I'm gonna start with 220 grit, that's pretty aggressive for a headlight just to get uh, a lot of this nastiness out of here. And then I'm gonna move to 400 grit, and then I'm gonna move to 600 grit, and then I'm gonna move to 2000 grit. At each level, I'll be using water to make sure that uh, I don't put deep gouges or scratches inside the finish here. And um, I'm gonna start with a swirling motion because that's the most aggressive to get uh, all this stuff off of here. And then once the swirling motion has been laid in and I've got as much of this off as I think I can get, then I'll do a, a, a horizontal sand like this to get rid of the swirl marks and make everything look nice and uniform. That'll make the uh, uh, clear coat sort of uh, get in there easier and make it look a little bit nicer with the clear coats on. So again, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna start with 220, I'm gonna do swirls, then I'm gonna do back and forth, and then we're gonna do 400, same thing, swirls back and forth, and then 600, swirls back and forth, and then 2,000, swirls back and forth. And when we're done, hopefully this will look about like this, except some of this crap down here will be gone, but 
We'll see. I'm not sure I can get all this out of here, but we're going to try it again. Yeah, it looks to me like I got some of that garbage off of there. Looks much better than it did. So I think we're ready to mask and uh, clean them up with some isopropyl alcohol and then clear coat. While we're waiting for these to dry, I just wanna make a note. If you watched the episode where I painted the rims on my wife's Explorer, then you've already heard me say this, but uh, I'll say it again here for those of you that didn't. You always wanna make sure that you're gonna wear a respirator when you're working with a clear like this 2K clear. This is actually um, a two-part clear coat. It is just like the stuff that you would use in a spray booth uh, spraying a car, except that it's in a rattle can. So, um, the catalyst in there can be pretty rough. So you wanna make sure that you're well ventilated and that you use a respirator. A lot of times I don't wear respirators when I'm spray painting, but with this stuff, I always do. So, word of the wise. Well, here we go, guys, the final product. And I gotta tell you, I am super, super impressed. I, uh, I thought maybe I was gonna have to sand and do some buffing or you know, wet sanding or something to get rid of the orange peel on this. And there is a little bit, you can see it. Um, you know, if I move it around, I'm not sure how the light's reflecting back to the camera, but um, you can see just a little bit of orange peel in there. But man, you know, I don't think it's enough for me to have to worry about wet sanding and buffing and going through that whole thing. So I think I am just gonna leave these the way that they are. Uh, there's a couple of little spots in here where I can feel uh, contaminants got in. That's probably just dust in the air from my garage. It's not a super clean garage, so. Um, but that's fine. They certainly look a whole lot better than they did. Uh, practically brand new. And you know, this stuff is gonna last a good long time, so. Uh, I'm super happy with that. The next thing we're going to do before we put these back on the truck is just give them a real quick wax. Uh, I mean, it's clear coat, so we're going to wax it just like you'd wax your vehicle's paint job. So pretty much any kind of car wax will work for this. I just happen to be using Meguiar's Deep Crystal Carnauba Wax, but uh, pretty much anything that you could pick up from you know, an auto parts store or even Walmart would work for this. If you've never waxed a vehicle before, it's uh, pretty simple. Just make sure that you... Shake the wax up real good, if it's liquid wax. All 
Oh, love the smell of carnauba wax in the morning. Put your wax on a clean cloth. You're not going to need very much for this. They're just, uh, just headlights. And then uh, just wipe it on. All right. And then we'll set this one off to the side to dry. And then do our next one. Once you've got your wax on, you just want to let it sit for a little while so it can dry. Uh, how long it takes is going to depend on the temperature. But you'll know that it's dry because you'll see a, a hazy sort of film on there that uh, looks a little bit dry. <laughs> like dry wax, dumbass. All right, try again. Once you've got your wax on there, you just want to give it the time. Give it the time. Once you've got your wax on, just give it a little bit of time to dry. And then once it's dry, just wipe it off and you're good to go. All waxed up. The wax just serves as an extra protective coating, just like it would on the clear coat on the rest of your vehicle, uh, to try to get this stuff to last as long as possible. And whenever I wash the vehicle and wax the vehicle, I will make sure to wash and wax these headlights now, uh, just like they're a regular part of the paint, because basically, with a clear coat on them, they are. Here we have the final product, and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. All it took was just a little bit of prep work, some sanding, a little bit of clear coat, and about 24 to 48 hours of cure time, and just a little bit of wax. And here we have basically what looks like brand new headlights. And now when you get real close, you can see the orange peel, but from just a little ways away, you really can't see it at all. And no matter what, it looks way better than it did, and it's going to last a good long time. So, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, internet ramblings, stick them below. Now, thanks again for watching, guys. We will see you next time. <laughs>